this is hilarious. I mean, maybe it's because of my stoicism, which, sorry, my back hurts. It started from um, figuring out that I had too much involuntary emotional response to activating events. So I started to do stoicism, which is essentially emulating psychopathy. And it makes me one of those people that you could label um, as someone with no filter or inappropriate humor, but it makes me honest. Because apparently emotions can alter <clears throat> our ability to be honest. Interesting, eh? Anyway, there is this Facebook page called RJ's Kids, named after RJ Ontiveros. RJ committed suicide in, I think it was like 2013, 2014. Is that when I left Seattle? Anyway, RJ's suicide was a cannabis induced suicide. I guarantee cannabis was the primary causal component, the contributing factor of his suicide to his suicide. And because Vashon is, you know, rich white people and Ashkenazi Jews, they don't give a shit about all the teenage suicides that cannabis causes. They only care about the money that goes in their bank accounts from the cannabis. They don't give a fuck about the lives and families they destroy, even amongst their own communities and people. That's how greed is. And who's best at greed? Whites and white Jews. Or Ashkenazis. <sighs> so I find it very interesting. Because I, I go on the page to say, you know, clearly cannabis caused the homicide. I mean, I knew him when it happened. And I knew him in real life. He's my friend. But <laughs> they're not interested in preventing teenage suicides by criminalizing cannabis because then they wouldn't have to lose their drugs and their money. Why he can't live without his drugs and his booze? And greed. And money. Yeah. So, <laughs> I see pictures of the uh, that famous Jewish... Uh, he's, he's ethnically Jewish. He's, he's a idolater. An idolatry... Uh, idol, idol worshiper. The abbey or the abbot or whatever from Vashon, right? He's an Eastern Orthodox so he's supposed to have this like Russia connection yeah and um, they're blessing like the bench that I guess RJ sat on it's really stupid <laughs> it, may, it just to me that reflects how corrupt Vashon slash white people are is the churches are also corrupted, right? Like, you know what would prevent more te more suicides, more teenage suicides like RJ? Criminalizing marijuana and aggressively enforcing the drug laws. Or even without laws, just eliminating marijuana from Vashon Island. Because availability is the largest determining factor into substance abuse. Whatever drug is the most available in the environment eliminated from the environment, teenage suicides go down. With legalization, teenage suicides have gone up. Everywhere. Without exception. <laughs> correlation doesn't equal causation? Yeah, correlation doesn't eliminate causation. More often than not, it points to it, with very few and rare exceptions. You know what's not going to prevent teenage suicides? The abbot waving his magic spell like religious ritual ceremonially. <laughs> the Jesus God has blessed this park and now the suicides will stop. Oh wait, that was in like 2013 and the suicides kept happening. <laughs> Fucking weird. God must have mysterious plans. <laughs> mysterious ways. <laughs> And the abbot, her abbey, whatever he is, is a white guy, so a, a Jewish, an Ashkenazi Jew. So you would think he has a hereditary high IQ. So you would think he knows 
right? So there's this bishop. He's got, like, a dude dressed like a bishop, right? Like, the black priest robe and the, and the fancy hat. Also white, and I assume white Jew. You think they would know that cannabis causes psychosis. It's been proven repeatedly for decades, and they are older than me. Since at least, I think the 1920s, when it first became criminalized, 1933, um, James Licata murdered his whole family with an axe after smoking marijuana cigarettes. Yeah, it, it's been known for a very long time that cannabis causes psychosis, which manifests in suicides and homicides and all kinds of bad things. So, either the Abbey or the Abbot, whatever, knows and is being immoral and deceptive, like, oh, the important thing isn't that we criminalize marijuana, which would prevent these problems. No, it's more... We're just going to spray the holy water on the bench that the kid sat on who committed suicide, and that will just... It's energy, man. <laughs> or, he's so stupid that he really believes, oh, yeah, cannabis is harmless and totally isn't connected to suicides and homicides and vehicular fatalities and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> And this magic spell is gonna work. Yeah, the prayers will stop more teenage suicides the way the the way they failed to stop this one. <laughs> what? Like that's how the network of corruption works: the church, the state, and the businesses, like all on the same level and you know page of corruption. Yeah, wild. <laughs> it reminds me, I. I knew this woman, Sister Virginia, this old woman, she was 79, and the doctor told her if she didn't lose weight, she would die. Uh. And I saw her every week, and I would ask her, have you done your exercise, are you doing diet and exercise? I'm a big advocate for diet and exercise. <laughs> I do it myself, and I'm diabetes free, and it's also a great non-narcotic pain management alternative and mental health, you know, treatment. Um, it regulates, you know, neurochemistry and things like that. Natural painkiller like oxytocins and endorphins and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, Sister Virginia would not do her diet and exercise. She prayed. She tried to pray the fat away instead of doing something about it with action. And every week that I saw her, she would inform me that Jesus was coming this week. He's right around the corner. Oh, yeah, the signs are there. There's the earthquakes and the floods and the fires. <laughs> well, that lasted about, I think, three, three to five weeks. And then she fell down because she was too fat to walk balanced at her age and broke her hip and then died in hospice. She couldn't pray the fat away. She couldn't pray the diabetes away. And that's what these, uh, you know, corrupt Vash on Island Eastern Orthodox abbots or abbeys or whatever. So they remind me of. Yeah, you can't pray the harmful effects of cannabis away. If you criminalize it and aggressively enforce the law, including CBD as well, that would actually prevent teenage suicides. Much more than prayer has failed to. <laughs> so whether they're dumb or dishonest, the outcome won't change <laughs> from prayer. <laughs>